Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the Windows 10 mail error you might be getting. That's 0x8505041. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to go over a couple different potential solutions for this issue. So we're going to get started and jump right into it. And we're going to start by heading over to Start Menu and we're going to open it up and you want to type in PowerShell something that says Windows PowerShell right above desktop app you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control window you want to select yes so now I have a command that I've already pasted into a notepad file I will have this in the description of the video so just follow along with what I do so once you've copied this into your clipboard you want to right click on the top bar right here of the Windows PowerShell window, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once you're done typing that in, it should start running automatically. Once that is done, you can close out of the Windows PowerShell window. Either look up store in the start menu or you can click on the store icon if you have one in your taskbar. A lot of times it'll come there right when you install Windows. And now at this point you will go into the search menu and type in mail and hit enter. One of the first matches that comes up should say mail and calendar. Click on that. And then you would just click on get. Should be free. You want to make sure you're downloading the free version. If there's anything that says paid, it's more than likely not what we think it is. So at that point I'd recommend trying that. If it did not work, I'd recommend restarting the computer after you've run the command and then trying to add the mail app if that's not working. If you're still experiencing problems, what I recommend trying now is to go to the Start button and right click on it. And then left click and select Command Prompt and in parentheses Admin from this context menu. If you receive a user account control window, select Yes. So at this point you want to type in DISM dot exe space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup you want to do a little dash next to it you want to type image so like a little horizontal line should be right next to the zero key on your keyboard right to the right of it you don't want to do a big one you want to do the little one like the subtraction sign and then you want to do another space forward slash scan health so it should read dism.exe space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup slash or I should say dash like with a little subtraction sign image space forward slash scan health scan health is one word once you're done doing that you're going to press enter on your keyboard so this dism tool is also referred to as the system update readiness tool and it could help resolve some Windows corruption errors if you're experiencing them. And you can see it'll begin scanning here and it should automatically attempt to repair anything if it's found. So just be patient, let it run. Um, again, this is the alternative method if the first one does not work for you. So just be patient, let it run, and hopefully if the first method did not work for you, this will. And then at that point you try and go back into the Windows Store and download the Mail app. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.